I'm now going to show you how to have your robot drive in what's called arcade mode. Arcade mode is where you have one stick, such as the right stick, controlling both motors. So in the image that I have shown to you, you can see that the right stick is channel 1 and 2. And we have the left motor plugged in port 1 and the right motor plugged in port 10. What we're going to do is have both motors move forward. You move the stick up. And when you move the stick back, both motors go backwards. In order to go left, we're going to have the right side move up and the left side move back. I said up on the robot, be forward. If we move the stick to the right, left side moves forward, right side moves back in a clockwise direction. So anyway, it's basically um, the robot will be more or less rotating. All right, the way that we do that is in Robot C, first we start a new program and save it or you can take an existing one and modify it. Um, what I'd like to do is have a program where you have the motors and everything set up, save that as a blank file and then you can open it up and give it a new name so that you don't have to reconfigure every time. Alright, first things we're going to do is put in a while loop all right we say while true so that it always does it and we put in a comment we're going to make channel one and channel two control both motors all right what we're going to do is we're going to say the left motor is going to respond to channel 2 in the positive direction channel 1 also in the positive direction what that means and let me put the next line in that might make more sense uh, we're going to say the right motor is going to respond positively to the channel 2 direction and negatively to the channel 1 direction Alright, so go back to my image here. So in this example, we're moving channel one in the positive direction. So I think my mind is thinking that the left side will be moving in the positive forward direction and the right motors will be moving in the negative direction backwards. Right. If I move in the left direction, right, I think that is the negative one direction. Okay, we want the left motors to be moving backwards in the negative direction, and the right motors moving in the opposite direction. The main thing you need to really understand, if that's just mind blowing, is that in robot C. You should have, uh, when you're moving side to side, you should have the motors moving in opposite directions to rotate. All right. Um, if you find that, let's say you move the controller to the left to here, and let's say the the robot's turning to the right, so you have the left mover motor moving forward and the right motor moving backwards. All you need to do, and and let me add to that, if you move it to the in the right direction, and you find the motors are doing the opposite. Basically, if it's turning the wrong way, then but forward and back work fine. Then all you have to do is reverse 
the plus and minus, so we could make that one minus. The first one minus, that one plus. Okay, again, that's if it's moving forward and backwards correctly, but it's turning in the opposite direction, just flip the plus and minus sign and you should be fine. That's all there is to it. Then you just download it to your robot and you're good to go.